The storm which has been brewing between Washington and General MacArthur finally breaks with the news that the Supreme Commander has been dismissed by President Truman. Members of the press leave the conference in Washington to release the world-shaking story which will affect international policy in every capital. The center of the controversy, General Douglas MacArthur is shown at his Tokyo headquarters. Here he administered the occupation of defeated Japan and directed the defense of Korea. At the request of the United Nations, President Truman appointed him to lead the Allied powers in the fight against communism in the Far East. In Japan and at the front, he served the nation and the United Nations with unfailing vigor. His record in previous campaigns brought him an enviable reputation as a fearless warrior. His many visits to the Korean front lines kept him constantly informed of the situation and the movements of the communist armies arrayed against his command. President Truman flew to meet with MacArthur last year, and on that occasion they discussed overall policy and apparently agreed on future conduct of the fight against red aggression. But in the final analysis, the disagreements between immediate strategy and international diplomacy resulted in General MacArthur's dismissal.